Please download Telugu Stop Android app in Play Store or iOS app in App Store and stay tuned to latest news as it happens. In a fiery address on Wednesday the 18th of October, top Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi launched a scathing critique of the ruling BRS in Telangana, accusing them of betraying the people and aligning with the BJP. Marking the commencement of the party's campaign for the 30th of November assembly elections, Rahul Gandhi delivered a succinct yet impactful message, framing the contest in Telangana as a battle between entrenched interests, Daralu, or feudal lords, and the people, Prajalu, while asserting that the BJP's influence has waned in Telangana, Rahul pointed out that the BRS and AIMIM still hold sway. He emphasized that BRS Supremo and Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao consistently supported the Saffron Party, illustrating a concerning camaraderie. Rahul Gandhi highlighted how BRS had backed significant bills in Parliament, contrasting this with the Congress' unwavering commitment to the welfare of the distressed and its unassailable secular principles. Drawing attention to KCR's unblemished record in the face of corruption allegations, Rahul Gandhi didn't mince words, linking this to the unequivocal backing he receives from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He contrasted this with his own experiences of facing legal battles and adversities at the hands of the BJP. Underlining the Congress track record of fulfilling promises, Rahul Gandhi referenced the party's historic delivery of Telangana in 2004, even when it ran counter to its immediate political interests. Turning to future commitments, he pledged to implement all six guarantees made to the people of Telangana, echoing successful policies in states where Congress is in power. Looking ahead to the impending general elections, Rahul Gandhi envisioned elevating the Sammaka Saraka tribal fair to the stature of a national festival, akin to the grandeur of the Kumbh Mela. Priyanka Gandhi echoed her brother's sentiments, expressing disappointment at the unfulfilled aspirations of Telangana's citizens since the state's inception. She emphasized the Congress legacy of prioritizing the well-being of the people through initiatives like public sector undertakings. Directly taking on the BRS government, Priyanka Gandhi criticized the extensive control held by the KCR family over 18 departments, characterizing it as a monopoly. She asserted that the Telangana government effectively operates under the directive of the Prime Minister, while asserting that powerful vested interests dominate the state. In contrast to the prevailing discontent, both leaders concluded with a rallying cry for the people to rally behind the Congress, promising a transformative agenda for Telangana's future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.